20 feet. Okay. Two nights. Tomorrow and following. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. We got two nights booked at Anastasia State Park. Cool. Yeah. So this morning we're using a new coffee grinder that my dad got us. It's battery powered and rechargeable, so perfect for the RV lifestyle or any digital nomads traveling. You don't want to wreak havoc on your batteries. You charge this thing up. We're going to be grinding up our Colombian Supreme. Let's see how this thing works. Pretty excited because we love our ground coffee, so going back to ground coffee is pretty incredible. What do you think? Fill it to the max? No. Wow. Cool. I'd say you ground it perfectly. Maybe even even a little shorter of a grind next time. Cool. Fresh beans, whole beans. Make sure it got all of them. It did. I didn't hear one bean drop. No, I didn't either. Probably grounded even too long. That thing is powerful. <laughs> cool. Thanks, Dad. This is sweet. This coffee grinder and press combination has been essential for our travels. The grinder has been used once, sometimes twice a day, and can last well over a month on one charge. That's good. Yeah. Thanks, Dad. With two nights booked at Anastasia State Park, we are excited to finally reach the tropical Florida climate. Our plans were to explore the town of St. Augustine and visit Castillo de San Marcos, the oldest standing building in the United States. Today is a perfect afternoon at Anastasia State Park, so we're gonna do some barbecue. I'm setting up outside, they got a nice little fire pit with a flip over grate here. So I'm getting the charcoal started, and then I'm gonna cut up the chicken, get that ready, and all our sides here. Just thought I'd give you a sneak peek before this gets going. Got grandpa's old fire starter. We're gonna do some barbecue chicken with onions and broccoli and we're gonna baste it with a little bit of barbecue sauce and Kingsford charcoal, of course. So let's enjoy this. So while we're traveling, we like to use rubber gloves just so we don't have to wash our hands as much. It makes it much easier outside if you're doing, um, you know, cooking like we are now. Cause it's always good to be safe when handling chicken. dry chips for this so it actually burns. Cooking over open flame has to be one of my favorite aspects of living the RV lifestyle, something that we couldn't really do while out west. This season, we're hoping the tropical climate of Florida and eastern woodlands will allow more opportunities for open flame cooking. Speechless. Speechless. <clears throat> it was fun to finally cook over charcoal today. It's 
It's been too long. Castillo de San Marcos is the oldest standing building in the United States and part of the National Park Service. The Spanish established the town of St. Augustine in 1565 to protect its Gulf Stream shipping route and lay claim to La Florida. By the 1600s, British colonies to the north started to encroach and threaten the city, forcing the Spanish to quickly build nine different wooden forts before building the stone one you see today. Oldest building in America, right? Yep. The Spanish okay. built it. This is pretty sweet. Coquina, a sedimentary rock consisting of seashells and invertebrates, was locally mined to build the fort. Constructed between 1672 and 1695, the structure never fell in battle and was known to absorb cannonballs. Located in a strategic location near Monza Bay, any ships that approached in the shallow water would be forced head-on, defenseless, not able to deploy their broadside guns. This is a really cool place. What are you smiling about? Why do I always have to carry the shit? Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to follow along for more adventures. Dump day! It's a good day.